One in four Americans is infected with a contagious disease known as genital herpes. But what is herpes anyway? Herpes simplex is a contagious viral infection that manifests as sores on the mouth or the genitals. While outbreaks of the sores can be reduced, there is no cure for herpes. And though the virus is generally harmless, it causes embarrassment for those infected and can increase susceptibility to other STDs like HIV. There are actually two strains of the herpes simplex virus, HSV-1 and HSV-2. While HSV-1 tends to lead to sores on the mouth and HSV-2 usually presents itself on the genitals, either strain can lead to either outbreak. That's because HSV-1 and HSV-2 are markedly similar, so a cold sore on the mouth can easily be spread to the genitals during oral sex and vice versa. While herpes is generally thought of as a sexually transmitted disease, this is not always the case. Up to 80% of the population is infected with oral herpes, and most of these contract the virus as children. That's because both the HSV-1 and HSV-2 are spread by any physical contact. This can include touching, kissing, or sexual acts. The briefest of skin-to-skin -skin contact can transmit herpes. Sometimes herpes has no symptoms, which is why up to a third of people with the virus remain undiagnosed. Remember that just because someone says they've never had a lesion doesn't mean they can't spread herpes. People with genital herpes who do exhibit symptoms often notice small sores on the genitals, usually in a cluster. Other times, symptoms can be as subtle as mild irritation. In an oral herpes outbreak, a cold sore or fever blister will show up on the lips or around the mouth in a similar fashion. Some people also experience flu-like symptoms such as fever, aches and pains, or a headache. Regardless of the location, a herpes outbreak tends to start with red, tingly skin. In a day or two, sores will appear, although most outbreaks will clear in one to two weeks. So if herpes is forever, does that mean that a person will always have blisters on his or her body? Not at all. Herpes is a virus and will remain in the body for life, but the physical symptoms of herpes, an outbreak of sores, may recur anywhere from often to almost never. An outbreak can be triggered by factors such as illness, stress, diet, menstruation, or skin irritation. The bottom line is that whether you're having a herpes outbreak or not, once you get the virus, you will always have it. For this reason, you should refrain from any sexual contact during an outbreak and practice protected sex at all times. Herpes simplex is contagious and common. 50 million genital cases exist in the United States alone. So talk to your doctor about the prevention and treatment of herpes. If you thought that clip was interesting, check out all of our videos 